pear tree is opening up its first blooms. We have not hit spring yet. It's 9.30 in the morning, birds are singing. It is almost here. The dog and I are going to get a walk in this morning and get everything packed and try to get ourselves out to the campsite down here at the gullies. So I'm going to check back in with you here shortly. Let's go dog. Stuff is really soft. Yeah, that's definitely not the dog. Prudence has got, you know, she's got some fine hair on her or fur, but um, you know, most of it's real thick and coarse, right? This stuff is, this stuff is very fine. Got the old crow overhead checking me out. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's right in that tall pine. Straight through there. Oh, there he is. Might keep that fur from a fishing kit. Oh, yeah. Full bloom. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's, boy, he's clucking. One thing I will say. Forest out here is singing this morning. All right, straight through there is where we're going to be tonight. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's a, it's a pretty steep slope on one side and kind of a gentle slope. And at the bottom, I'll show you all the gullies that are down that way. It's a nasal bone. That looks like the back of a skull. I'm taking I'm thinking a mammal bought the farm out here. I don't know if y'all can hear all that. There's a lot of cutting going on. Uh two properties down. And then, man, it is loud out here. Okay. There is where the gully starts. And the gully just fades all the way on down into this other gully. And so you've got these series of gullies that start right here. There's three of them. There's a small one, the medium one that plays out, the large one that's got a few feeders, and then there's another one just over on the other side. So you see, 
That's the old fire ring. Got some large stones around for, you know, just stuff to sit things on. Hear that? <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Silence. I took my pot bale, the nail I used for the pot bale with the chain and I attached it to my Yuko lantern so that I could get that lantern down here closer to my work area so that I could kind of see a little better. And I've got my headlamp on, but I'm gonna go ahead and assemble myself a bird's nest. Get myself a good bed of fiber out here. I guess I'm not, man, that right there would catch just by itself. I love the way that cedar smells. It smells cedary. God, man, that's a good little, it's almost like dryer lint. There's my lighter. And I'm just going to create some fine shavings off of this. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's just super fine. Just like that. I'm going to get myself a nice little pile of that going. Get on my spectacles. That was a good curl. You know, I'm wondering if, I know the word, I know that fat in this case means it's impregnated with resin, right? And, but I'm wondering if maybe someone wasn't thinking of fat like you cook with, like butter or lard. I kind of don't wonder if the word fat, fat wood or fat lighter is not a, maybe derived from a culinary sense. A culinary term. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It sure smells good. I don't know if that's the case, but might make for an interesting topic. Talk to some of the old timers who are steeped in that old timey woodsy knowledge. I don't want to cut my thumb off. I'm going to lay it on a piece of this butcher paper to kind of contain it all and get it started. Just like that. This is a mass of very fine material and lightered and then the shavings from the super dry uh, river birch and it's got, it's, it's, you know, this is going to go up. Got tiny little fragments here.
11.35. Let's see what the temperature is. I can't even see it. Good grief. 70. So everybody's in the bed. She's on her pillow on the pad. And I am in the sack myself. Now she just had herself a fit. Unless I happen to have the uh, the camera on when the coyotes fire up or when, you know, there's another animal in the area. I mean, you guys don't get to see the action. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll be lucky and have the camera running. And, uh, but yeah, they were pretty close and they were singing. But, you know, I, I, I've never had a problem with them. Now, I'm not saying that they could not be a problem because there's a lot of them. Um... Uh, but uh, what I typically do is, you know, the really loud, grouchy voice, you know, roar, get out of here, you know, and clap my hands real loud. And she's barking and, you know, and I've got a fire going. Um, it's not a huge fire, but, you know, it's. I think those factors right there, those animals don't want anything to do with us. They They want to be... You know, they, they know that we are a danger. And so, I, you know, like I said, I've never had any problem with them. Now, I know that there are stories where they, you know, have treed folks or, uh, you know, go after go after pets and things like that. And I totally recognize that as a, you know, as a real a, a danger. So, um, but I don't know, maybe, I, maybe we've gotten lucky. I, I've been doing this 20 years not with that dog but our first dog we had as a married couple was her old lab named um, country and big black lab but uh, man he was a good dog um, she's she's an award winner for me too you know i mean i really love this old dog and she's you know she's i tell you what the day she graduates man it's gonna be rough <laughs> rough, rough. Well, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys and girls in the morning. If I can figure this light out. Y'all timing me? I just can't seem to get out of the hammock. <laughs> it's too nice out here. I mean, it is perfect. I'm out here in shorts, short sleeves. I mean, it is nice. I mean, you can see last night what I was talking about. I'm on a ridge that's shaped like a, a V. I'm at the, the uh, widest part of the V and I can see all down into those gullies. And the camp ring for the gullies is just right off to your right hand side. I'm sure you can see the piece of tulip poplar I've got down there that's smoking from last night. And my campfire ring is off, I don't know, 10, 15 feet right on the edge of that gully. I did not sleep down in that area because the trees are just a little narrow. And uh, there's a few of them, but this was such a nice spot. All I'm doing is laying in the hammock. <laughs> I'm not getting up. I actually, um, now, uh, last time and this time, all I have used has been the Snug Pack uh, Cocoon and then um, my my pluck, my poncho liner under quilt that I made. And I'm not using any other blankets or anything. This stuff actually packs into that pack um the packs into the backpack pretty easy 
this is my three season setup i don't really use a blanket i'll use the uh, the under quilt now i know some of you are saying even in 90 degrees <laughs> you use an under quilt um at a minimum i will leave the under quilt on that's the good thing is you get into warmer weather a lot of this stuff you can shed and your pack weight becomes you know super light um you know i, I mean i have just the military sleep system alone that i'm using is 10 pounds and then i have the uh added cocoon and the under quilt so that gets me up to about 14 14 pounds um you know and when you when you move into warmer weather and you can lose that weight you know that's the that's the key a little water eh yeah getting you a run in this morning squirrels and coyotes too just a lot of activity here out there for the dog to get into isn't it isn't it bud <laughs> that's right well i decided to have a little change of plans today um i'm gonna build this fire back up it's a really hot underside on that and i'm gonna make some coffee not not on this i'm gonna use my MSR and my camp stove and canteen cup. I already had breakfast. Went up to the house and had breakfast with Ginger. Well, just like that. Actually, if you look right there, it got started. And what I went to do is grab a piece of birch bark, a piece of lighter, and then some shavings from the birch bark, uh, the outer bark. I'm going to save my birch bark. I don't have a lot of that around here. Matter of fact, I don't have any birch bark around here. I'm not even going to put on my clothes. I'm staying in a t-shirt and my sleeping shorts. It's just too nice out here to put on a pair of long pants. Besides that, you know, after you hang out around a fire all night long in your clothes, the stuff starts feeling, you know, kind of, I don't know, I don't want to use the word crusty, but, you know, there's definitely a difference between fresh clothes and campfire clothes. Water has reached a boil. Grab me two of the vias, and I'm going to use, this morning I'm using the French roast, baby. Oh yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to gently turn the water off and just gonna pour the via in there like that. Give her a quick stir, ready to go. All right, let me restack that fire. Even though I'm using downed wood, it's not on the ground. It's, it's And so you, as you can hear, it's solid. That is a good old oak fire right there. stuff is good and hot you got to be kind of careful with these these uh, canteen cups because you know the heat transfers straight to that cup and the handles are cool um, because the way they're put in it kind of acts like a heat sink right and the, the handle won't get too terribly hot but man the cup it will get hot and I've got you notice I've got my stove on the outside of the the cup right to kind of help um, take care of that problem you ready to go I guess I need to get all this broke down and get her back to the house um, next time I'm gonna be camping out or we're gonna be camping out 
over on the west line at the old dogwood. It's the largest dogwood tree I've got on my property and I just think it's a nice little area to kind of hang. I've got a little camp ring over there and so I thought I'd share it. Um, so I guess that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and from the great state of Georgia and the Hog Mountain Ridge, see you next time. Come on dog. You gotta get your stuff. You gonna help me carry all this? You gonna help me carry all this poop? Where are you going? You gonna make me carry all this? She'll come camp, but she ain't carrying nothing home.